Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is Real Living. Listen to what Jesus says in John chapter 16, 33. He says, I have told you these things. Now, this is part of Jesus' upper room discourse. He's talking to his disciples, and he's saying, these are kind of my last instructions for you today. He says, I want you to know, I have told you these things. During the last three years that we've been together, I've been telling you that one day I'm going to be leaving you. But I'm not leaving you alone. But I've told you these things. I've reminded you of these things. And you know, that's what leaders do. They remind their people of things they already know. There's not an awful lot of new teaching. In the first time of the relationship that you have with a preacher or a teacher, you learn a lot from them. But then after a while, they start repeating themselves. I hate to say that. But the reality of the situation is preachers basically tell you things you already know. If you read the Word of God every day, let's say you read the Bible from cover to cover every year. Let's just say that. Well, you're going to know the Bible pretty good. And uh, so then when a preacher stands up and starts speaking from a scripture, what you're going to have is, oh yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Jesus says, I've spent three years talking about all these different things. And now I'm kind of giving you my last instructions. So that in me, you may have peace. Jesus was saying, in him comes peace. He is the Prince of Peace. He is the vessel of which true peace can come. He is the conduit of peace in your life. And He wants to bring that peace into your life right now. You do not have to be overwhelmed. You don't have to face these things alone. He says, in this world you will have trouble. In this world you will have tribulation. As long as you're in this world, you're going to have trouble from time to time. There are going to be seasons of trials and temptations. And you know what? In those times, he says, I've already warned you about that. He says, and when you know this, when you know that there are times coming, you can still have peace because you put your trust in peace. But he says, take heart. Take heart. And the reason why you should take heart is because Jesus has overcome the world. Materialism, passion, pleasure, pride, all of those things have been overcome. Jesus said, I have overcome the world. You see, Jesus was the one who was able to destroy the power of death, hell, and the grave. He was the one who was able to overcome the world, the flesh, and the devil. Through his death, his burial, his resurrection, through his broken body and shed blood, we have the victory. Isn't that wonderful to know that we have the victory because of Jesus Christ? So take heart today. Jesus wants you to know. He says, I've told you these things ahead of time, and today you will not be able to have any excuse. You know that from time to time you're going to have trouble. But don't despair. Understand that in Jesus Christ there is peace. So today, put your confidence and say, Lord, give me your peace. That peace that passes all understanding. That the world can't give and the world cannot take it away. He says, yes, you will have trouble from time to time. But take heart. Understand this. Jesus Christ has already made a way where there is no way. What you need to walk in is the power, the anointing, the authority, the victory of Jesus Christ today. He wants to give you that today. Get a hold of the Word of God. Spend some time with Him in prayer. Do a little bit of praise and worship. And today, you know what? You will overcome whatever situation you find yourself in. Maybe just spend some time praising the Lord. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is Real Living, and you have yourself a great and godly day.